All right, what's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down the sample right now. Let's get straight into it. So I start off in Omnisphere and I went to this bank right here, the Sonic Extensions, and I went to the Unclean Machine. So I went with the Dusty Guitar preset right here. So here's what the, the, the default preset sounds like. So there's like all these uh, like options here and inside of each preset you got five presets so, so this is like the original then you can go over to the second one this one is crazy anyways i went with the first one and i turned up the color around here to like three three something and I turned down the wax as well. So uh, here's the pattern, it's pretty basic. This week I've been starting off with the, the top line and then doing some basic chords. So I made, I start off by making this top line melody. And actually from the beginning, it was very, very slow because I played it on the MIDI and I just did something very slowly. This is what it sounded like first. So I just played something very, very simple on the MIDI with one hand, you know, nothing crazy. And then after that, I highlighted everything and I shorthanded it like this. So it's twice as fast. So after that, I just added these chords down here. So C minor chord without the middle note, strum to the side for some extra bounce kind of. So here's what it sounds like now. And then for the second part, I just took the chords and pitched them down five semitones, but I kept the top melody in the same place. So one, two, three, four, five. For the effects on the first melody, I start off with a soothe, uh, took out some of the frequencies here, turned up the depth right here, and then I added the delay uh, with this preset right here, and then an EQ took out the lows, a reverb, 27%, and another EQ boosting some highs here, and after all those changes, it sounds like this. I got some ethnic vibes from that little melody, so I went to context and I grabbed a flute. This is the soprano recorder inside of Sign Winds Pro. Yeah, I came up with this pattern right here. I've been saying this in previous videos, but honestly, the only like uh, tip I got for flutes is uh, mix bet in between like short and long notes, and also use the half steps because it sounds pretty good when you do that for the effects on the flute i started off with a soothe cleaned it up a little bit because this flute could be can be pretty harsh so i turned up the depth of five so it takes out a lot of frequencies and makes it a lot cleaner and then a reverb vintage valhalla verb and then an eq to got some harsh frequencies right here so i'll just show you the pattern with and without the effects so this is without and this is with the effects on So it's just more pleasant to the ear and there's not as many like harsh frequencies in there. So I'm not gonna lie bro, after these two patterns right here, the sample sounded pretty full and I didn't like wanna add too many, like too complex sounds with this because it sounded pretty like full to me. So I just went into say quizzes Cassiopeia one shot kit right here. I grabbed this one right here. And I grabbed this one right here. And then I duplicated the first one down here, pitched it up a whole octave. So now it sounds like this. So now we get these three. So it's very minimalistic, but I think it makes the sample more complete with these three sounds. So just some nice sounds in the background just to make the sample sound a little bit more full and like complete. So yeah, that's everything for the first part. For the second part right here, I kept the Omnisphere pattern and I added another Omnisphere. And this is the ambient treats inside of the undercurrent bank. Also from the Sonic extensions. So it's also got the obvious knob that you can mess around with to mess around with the preset. And it also has like five built-in preset in each preset in, inside of the bank. But I just made this pattern to like switch up the vibe of the flute because this is more like a dark kind of pattern so I thought like the flute would be a cool intro or something so if you remember when C minor so I'm gonna just make a C minor chord down here drag them out and then I'm gonna pitch this up 
So as you can see, it's so these notes right here are basically the C minor chord. We got the G, then we got the D sharp, and then we got the C. And we also got the half step in between D and D sharp right here uh, for the half step dark stuff, you know, uh, for the dark vibes. So I could I could just have a C minor chord, it would still work, but it wouldn't be as dark. So I had that repeat twice, and then I just duplicated it over, right here, right here, but I took the top note, the note that was here, and pitched up another half step, so it doesn't get as repetitive and as, as boring. So as you can see, it kind of switches up the whole energy when the top note is going up a half step right here. And then also for just a little bit more variation, instead of keeping it like this all the way through, I brought this note right here, back up here. So it's very simple, it's just this really, and then I just did this note over here, and I just did this note at the end. But yeah, here's the final product. But yeah man, that's pretty much it for the video, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, I'ma catch y'all in the next video.